Richard. I had two cups of coffee, two espressos, and a Celsius this morning. So I'm like shaking and bouncing off the walls. It's that Celsius. Woo. It's the good stuff. I'm Mike, I'm Joe, and this is Cart Life TV. What's up guys, welcome back to Cart Life TV. Got something special for you today. Today, we are installing a winch on the Club Car DS. And to make it even cooler, we got the winch bumper, and we're gonna customize it. All right, so the first thing we need to do today is remove the old brush guard. It's held on with four bolts, goes on to the normal mounting location on the Club Car DS. Those of you with this golf cart know all about this mounting location. They use it for all sorts of front bumpers and brush guards. Joe's already started removing it, and then we're gonna get the new one mounted and see what we got. <laughs> the new one's heavier than this. <laughs> it's bigger. That's crazy. All right, this new bumper is really, really cool. It extends out farther than the uh, farther than the brush guard, but one thing you have to remember when installing these is that the top bolts don't line up with the stock holes exactly. You do need to ream those out to 3 8 inch to accept the, uh, the heavier duty bolts. Since this is a winch bumper, and if you are making a pull with the winch, a lot more force is gonna be put on this location on the golf cart. That's why they want you to use the heavier bolts. They give, you a, they give you a grade A hardened bolt to use with this. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get these drilled out. All right, we got our winch bumper mounted and it looks awesome. Way better than I thought it would. What do you think? It's awesome. It is awesome. Super sturdy. Super heavy duty, looks great. If you guys want this bumper and you want to mount a winch, this is what you need. You just install this thing, and you can mount your winch plate and your winch onto this bumper. But we're not done. This is Cartlight TV, so we're going to take it one step further, and we're actually going to install our original Jake's brush guard behind the winch bumper. We're going to modify this thing now and bolt it in place just to get that extra protection, and of course, for the, for the cool factor, right? So let's Custom. do it. Custom. Goes back here cutting. Still gotta take off some more metal to see if we can get this brush guard to sink down and mount alongside the winch bumper. All right, so this is what we got so far. Let's take a look. We uh, did a good job taking away a lot of the metal off the back of the brush guard so we could actually make it fit behind the winch bumper. And this thing looks badass. It really does. What a different look. I don't think this has ever been done before. I, if, if anyone's done this before, I wanna see it. This is definitely a first, I, I don't care. Um, but it looks awesome. Next thing we have to do is we got to uh, take it over to, um, well, we're gonna go see him, I guess, huh? So, called. We gotta go see Jim. Jim is Joe's brother and the number one body guy in South Florida, as far as I'm concerned. He does the best paint jobs. This guy knows everything. Definitely a wizard when it comes to uh, paint and body work, welding and everything. So we're gonna get this thing wrapped up now, bring it over there to Jim, get this thing tack welded, and then we'll be able to move on and get this thing mounted, but it looks awesome. Take a good look at this. All right, guys, we made it over to Jim's shop. We're gonna do some uh, some grinding on the old bumper to make sure we got a good spot to make a weld. Joe's got the grinder there. Jim's, what are you doing, Jim? Safety first. Safety last. Safety first. All right, get to grinding. All right, Joe's got that thing all uh, ground out. Now it's time to do some welding, so 
What do you say, Joe? Let's get to it. Let's do it. Alright, the welding is all done. We're into grinding now. Jim's over there grinding it up, making the welds look nice. And we're gonna give it a spray, let it sit overnight, put it back on tomorrow. Doing good, looking good. We're all done here, Jim? We're all done here? What do you say? Good job. Just got back to our shop. Uh, we were over at Jim's. He got this thing welded up for us. Thank you, buddy. That thing came out awesome. I can't wait to get it mounted. But before we do that, we got to get it painted. Joe's back there touching it up now with the uh, black texture paint. It's already looking really good. Super impressed. I can't wait to see what this thing looks like all finished. I think we're done for today, though. We'll be back tomorrow um, to kind of finish this job up. We'll see you then.